So what's going on everyone and welcome to another edition of EAA. Uh, I know that I promised the next video was going to be on my 32 Ford Roadster, but today we got something else going on. I thought you guys might want to be involved in it, take you along. Uh, as you might remember on the last video, I talked about selling my Z06 and I did sell it. It ended up leaving yesterday. A uh, new owner is very happy. I was very happy and um, kind of an interesting story because Obviously, I'm thinking about replacing I'm, I'm Well, I'm definitely going to replace. I shouldn't say thinking about it because I'm definitely going to replace the Z06 and the Typhoon with something different. And I think I've narrowed it down to really four cars that I am very serious about. And one is still the C7 Z06. I'm very serious about that. Uh, the other one, very, very serious about is an Acura NSX. 91, 92, that era. I'm looking at a couple of them. There's, there's one over in the Bay Area I really like the looks of really serious about it and i really think that is just such a cool looking and relevant looking car even today even what 28 years later i mean just just very awesome looking car um another vehicle i'm considering is still a hellcat and it's kind of interesting because it just so happens that the guy that bought my z06 his dad owns a 2017 hellcat and they showed up in the hellcat yesterday to pick up the z06 so of course i'm taking it kind of as a sign I said, hey, you know, I've never actually even ridden in one, much less driven one. So his dad said, go ahead and take it around the block. I mean, go out and check it out. So I didn't get on it real hard. I mean, I stepped into it a little bit just to kind of see what the car would do. My first impression of the car was it was huge. It was absolutely huge with that big bulge in the hood where the supercharger sits, um, but very impressive. I mean, all kinds of power, all kinds of torque. I'm not sure if I want one or not. I'm still, I, that's kind of on the back burner, but it's still a contender. Um, and then the other vehicle that I'm considering is a um, Mustang Fastback, an older Mustang Fastback. And I'm actually going to go look at a 67 right now. I'm waiting for the guy to text me back and give me the address and run over and take a look at it. It's over in Tracy, which is about an hour away. And I thought maybe I'd take you guys along, get your impressions, get your opinion. And um, yeah, check it out. So that's what we're going to do today. I am in my Ford 500 with the uh, GT conversion that I did. If you guys haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out. It's funny. Um, and I got the address. We're heading to Tracy right now to check this car out. And so the story behind this car is um, I actually saw it on Facebook Marketplace maybe about, I don't know, maybe three weeks ago, something like that. So I've been watching it for a little while. And um, I was out at the uh, swap meet here locally, I want to say it was last week and a week before, and I saw the car. And it actually looked better in person. And I remember telling my wife I was just really tempted to just figure out something and buy it, just go for it and buy it. Um, but I didn't see the owner around, so I wasn't able to talk to him, so I just left and didn't think more about it. The car shows better in person than it does in the pictures, and it looks kind of cool in the pictures. I've always thought that era of Mustang was really cool. It's a 67, and um, I don't know. I, I, I'm tempted. I, I want to go take a look at it. I want to drive it. I know the picture under the hood didn't look that great, so it definitely needs some detail work there. But, you know, the paint body seems to be pretty respectable. The interior looked pretty clean. It's a five-speed Willwood disc brakes. It's got a 302 under the hood. Um, it's got aftermarket wheels and tires. Uh, it's, it's got a better stance to it. And so it looks like a pretty cool car. So I'm going to go listen to it, maybe take it for a quick drive and check it out. Don't want to make any decisions right now, though. Like I said, I still want to drive an NSX. I don't know. There's just something about the NSX that's kind of getting to me. And it's funny because my wife really likes this Mustang. She says that she would not be upset at all if I bought the Mustang, but she does not like the NSX at all. I've showed her pictures of them and she just doesn't care for them. And, you know, to me, the stock NSX is from that era. They're okay. They're still cool, but they're just, and eh, whatever. They're, they're kind of dated, but the ones I've been looking at have like little body kits set up on them and aftermarket wheels and tires. And man, there, there's one it's a beautiful looking car. I guarantee it's a car that would get a lot of attention and they are very unique cars. They're definitely, um, they're definitely good investments when it comes to that. So that, that helps out. So anyway, I do believe the next stop is going to be where the Mustang is.
appreciate it. Big dogs. Come on. Big dogs. Come on. Come on. Come on. There it is. So, and I walked by it a couple of times. Actually, a buddy of mine was standing there, like looking at it. I was like, "This isn't yours, is it?" No, no, no. So, um, but yeah, I never saw you. Did you really? Yeah, it's good. Especially in the heat, you know. Doesn't overheat or anything. No. Just miserable because it doesn't have air conditioning. <laughs> yeah. Actually, that looks better in the picture too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got it. It was already painted. The engine was already there. Okay. It had the five-speed. Interior was like it is. I did the rims. Okay. Remove with brakes all the way around. Um, front coilovers. Okay. I did the back uh, four leaf coilovers. Okay. I shortened the rear end. It's a positive rear end. Nice. I shortened it so uh, it doesn't rub on the tires. Okay. And uh, I think I got a sway bar up front. Okay. Oh, and I did a little system. Okay, yeah, I did see that. Okay. You okay if I open the door? Okay. Put back, that's okay. Headliner looks pretty good. Got a nice rumble to it. Yeah, sounds good. That's a nice little rumble. Is it pretty much just a stock hole 302, though, as far as you yeah, know? Yeah, as far as I know, yeah. Really 
good friends too. So I enjoy that. A lot of people I still stay in contact with that have bought vehicles off me or I, I bought vehicles off them. And I think that that's really, really cool. I, get, I just, I get a kick out of it. I, I don't know, I'm pumped right now. At any rate, I'm gonna stop rambling. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. PO Box, Instagram, Venmo in the description below. God bless, take care, have an absolutely amazing day.